Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part two of our Hopkinton Hillers boys soccer doubleheader. And now it is time for the JV game between the Hillers and Norton. In the varsity game, the Hillers getting an impressive 3-2 to two win. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple, Emily Miller on camera. And Steve, uh, you and Frank got a nice varsity game. It looked it like was a very a, competitive it game. It was a very there. entertaining game. 2-1 um, at half, and Hopkinton scored two second-half goals for a 3-2 victory. Uh, it was a very entertaining game. A uh, lot better flow than the past um, couple weekends. I think the, the boys are getting used to the COVID calls, and they're not as aggressive in the shoulder-to-shoulder the -shoulder and body contact. So the game was a lot smoother to watch. Yeah, and you'd have to imagine that as the season goes on, they'll just get more and more used to these new COVID rules, and those games will uh, continue to get smoother, but it was a nice battle out there, a good physical game as well. I saw a few big hits, especially yep. towards the end, uh, where there was a big hit on a, a collision with the goaltender uh, by a hiller, and... Uh, just a well-fought-out game by uh, two good teams. Norton went very far last year. They went all the way to the uh, section sectional finals in the South Division Three bracket where they fell to Medway via penalty kicks, and the Hillers went pretty far as well in the South Division Two bracket. They went to the quarterfinals, and they lost to Bishop Fian via penalty kicks. And both of those team certainly uh, returned some good talent this year but both also got a little bit younger heading into this year as well and uh, I'd imagine this JV game will be a well fought out game as well one of the concerns for Norton we're talking about this pregame is they got a pretty short roster Steve yeah only one sub so if, if I was coach Ryan I would be telling the boys to just bust their butts and, and run Norton off the pitch possess the ball and make Norton chase it 17 minutes on the clock and we are just about ready to get underway here in this JV contest it is cloudy skies a little bit of drizzle falling and we're hoping that it stays just a little bit we of we're hoping that it stays exactly like this because all three of us idiots did not bring raincoats <laughs> We did not come prepared for rainy weather, for sure. I checked the radar. I looked at the sky. I did everything. and you, I. You know what we keep forgetting? We live in New England. Anything I know. Can happen. I know. I thought of it. Jack Proventure in the center circle for the Hillers. To his left, it's Jack Ionelli. Starting goalkeeper for Norton is Tyler Tatro, a junior. Also behind the circle for the Hillers, Carlos Henkel. And on the right, you got Le Leonard Onkin. And we are underway here in this JV contest. As there's a boot to the near side by Brian Goo, and it's out of bounds. Yep. Onkin just lifted his leg a little too early. Ball just scooted underneath it. Cam Bratt put it into play as Norton working in Hillers territory. Oh, tracking it down, Michael Sabati. And he's cut off, kicked out of bounds there by Goo. Brian Goo had a nice goal last week for the Hillers in the JV contest against Holliston. There's a save. And a roll out by Hopkinton. Norton putting the early pressure on, but here comes the Hillers. Jack Ionelli gets it over to the far side. over to the near side, a little too much on it, looking for Leonard Onkin. Put in play by Cam Bratt, tracking it down Sabati. And it's going to be wrapped up by the goaltender. Steve, I'm not quite seeing a number on a goaltender. I don't, I don't, I was looking at for that too, Tom, I don't know. We'll have to get uh, that information from the Head coach of the Hillers, Terry Ryan. 
Norton led by David Cuttington. Lancers work it back into Hiller's territory over to Sabati. Along the far side now, trying to handle it is Oga. Takahiro Oga. Back into Hiller's territory now. Tracking it down, Leonard Onkin. Onkin, a freshman. That's a nice ball. Certainly is. Big opportunity here. Can they take advantage? The shot. No, just wide goes Jack Ionelli. Yeah, he he wouldn't take the shot with his uh, with his weaker foot. He kept running around it. Well, that was a nice open opportunity there. But unable to take advantage of it. But here come the Hillers once again. Oh, God. Sends it back towards Fatika. Now on the near side, that's Sheehan. Here comes Norton, charging up field is Brat. He'll send it towards the box. Wrapped up by the goaltender. Sends it out to Henkel. Carlos Henkel working along the far side, and he's tripped up a little bit. Now we'll get the COVID whistle. Just over three minutes in action here, this JV contest. Sent down the Hillers, charging towards the box, and it's wrapped up, and that was off of Ionelli. Good charge there by the Hillers. Along the near side is Cam Bratt for Norton. Some nice footwork there. Brad sends it towards the box and it's deflected. Here comes Henkel. Sends it along the far side. Goo charging up field. Sends it forward. Ionelli. There's a shot off the goaltender's hands and out of bounds. And Jack Ionelli getting a few opportunities early in this one. He got a nice piece of that ball. He did. It was well struck. Well, normally this would be a corner kick, but instead we'll have an entry from the corner with the COVID rules. There's a strong boot towards the box uh -oh. off of Ionelli. And will it stay in play? No. Off of Oga it goes. And there, no, it was a COVID call. It was a shoulder. Shoulder charge on Studholm. All right, so Hillers will take it from the far side corner. Hopkinton, of course, working left to right across your screen. There's a boot into the box, and it's wrapped up. That was off of Bonkin. There's a trip up. That'll draw the whistle. Getting tangled up there was Colm Sheehan along with Sabati. Brat will put it into play. Not enough distance there? That was in the air. Ah, forgot about that. <laughs> Sometimes they'll let you get away with one once in a while. Alkin sends it over to Henkel. But these officials seem to be running a tight ship here today. Yeah, it's, it's a little tighter call than the uh, varsity game. Studholm will send it down for Norton. Nice step from Henkel. Handled by Bressler. Back and forth we go. Here come the Hillers. Charging forward. That's Onkin. Sends it out. Looking for a pro venture. Pro venture working against Bratt. And a play goes off of pro venture. Something to play there to intercept was Henkel. Some good footwork there. Ionelli sends it over. 
Out front, nice shot, shot, goal! Nice. Henkel with the goal. Carlos Henkel ripping it into the net to make it one to nothing with 10.22 left to go. I just realized they're playing nine on nine. Ah. I was wondering why there was so much open space. I wonder why that is. I think because um, Norton only has 12 players. That could be it. Yeah, that, you'd have to imagine that's the case. I believe that was Anken on the assist, if I'm correct, Steve. I didn't see who had the assist. But it was a nice pass right out front to Hankel, who just ripped it in. Slipped over to the near side to Arthur. Along the sideline it goes. Here comes Norton. Wine sends it forward. And had a play off of Sheehan. Lancer's trying to put some pressure on. Brat sends it up a little too much there. Some nice moves by Carolino. Back to the goaltender. Too much mustard on that one. It'll be Norton ball. Matthew Simpson will put it into play. Nice steal there by Boothroyd. Sent up by Norian. On the near side, that is Arthur. Wrestler goes off of Hatherley at a play. Into Arthur. Pretty young JV team uh, for the Hillers, all freshmen and sophomores. There's a younger varsity team this year as well. Lee Thomas sends it over to the far side towards Carolino. Killer is approaching the box, and it's sent back for the moment. Getting in there for the Hillers was Lee Thomas. Back towards midfield. And at a play, Jack Arthur couldn't catch up with it. I'd say two of the players to watch from this JV team for the Hillers is Nate Lee Thomas and Brian Goo. From the limited JV action I've seen, they have contributed very nicely to this team this year. Sent up by Arthur. What do you think, Steve? Who should we look out for? Well, the one that I've been watching, I tend to key in on, on the number six player, and which is a holding midfielder, and then the center backs. But I don't see Bialbreski boys here today. So I've been, I've been impressed with Will's positioning and his calmness on the ball as a, as a back defender. But um, Peter Henkel is, does a very solid job of controlling the midfield. And as you said, um, Thomas had a great game last weekend certainly did sent back towards midfield handled by Norian into the box and sent back out by Bratt on the far side just under six minutes left to go in this first quarter a one nothing lead for the Hillers and don't forget Hiller's soccer action continues tomorrow. Starting at noon, we'll have JV followed by Varsity Girls Soccer. It's also Varsity Senior Day tomorrow. 
The action all starts at noon right here on HCAM and it's wrapped up by the goaltender as quickly approaching was Robbins. On the far side now. Followed by Norowin. Out in front, some good speed here. There's a shot, nice and goal. it's in! On the goal there, that is Luke Boothroyd. That was some good speed jetting up the field and ripping a nice shot off at yep. 457 left. He was very patient, he didn't try to rush it. Hiller is in control early on. And a play. Jack Arthur puts it back into play. Knocked up field by Lee Thomas. Lancers trying to get something going here. Over towards the box, One, Winnie trying to get to it, and it's sent out of play by McCann. Hey, Jackson, 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 I don't need my CAM taking that, right? You're holding the center. And on the entry, it'll be stud home. Working the near side is Hatherley. Sent over by Studholm towards Winnie, the Adam Winnie, the sophomore. Top of the box. Hiller's doing a nice job at protecting their defensive zone, not giving Norton too many open looks. And here come the Hillers upfield once again, charging forward Boothroyd and we had a slight collision there between Norowin and a Lancer. Approaching three minutes left to go in this first quarter. Two nothing Hillers. Here comes Hopkinton. And it looks like it's pretty slick turf out there. Yeah, the with the mist. There's a shot and it's just wide off of Charles Miller. Yeah, I think the mist is uh <clears throat> just given enough wetness that uh, the ball's really going to skim. I could tell you from first-hand experience, when that turf gets a little slick, it's even more slippery than I'd say grass would be. Almost wiped out <laughs> a couple times. Goaltender Tyler Tatro will send it to his left. Aired out. Sent up by McCann. Trying to work the defender, Narowin. Sent out in front. Norton able to clear. I like the speed of Luke Boothroyd along that left side. Yeah, Hopkinton's, I think, um, got more overall speed than Norton. And now that it's nine on nine, it gives the Hillers even more of an advantage because of their speed and the number of players that they have. Atherley will put it into play. A couple substitutions first by both sides. Gustavo Gomez Donare and Divyansh. Srivastava into the game. And I apologize if I butchered those names. Out in front, shot. No, a little bit wide by Gomez Donare as the rain starting to fall a little more rapidly now. And left to go. Out in front. Sent to the near side. Tom, with this rain, um, 
and the fact that we have no raincoats or we're totally unprepared. Emily and I are getting hazard pay for this, right? Absolutely. Excellent. See you, Emily. I'll take care of you. <laughs> well, if it picks up too much more, uh, we may have some issues with the broadcast. <laughs> Lights are on here okay. at the turf fields. I thought that was lightning. It was the lights coming on. I just saw a flicker. <laughs> it was pretty sudden. I was starting to go to my car. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play here at a wet Hopkinton High School. After one, it's Hopkinton 2, Norton nothing. We'll take a break on HCAM. Welcome back to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the second quarter of GV action. A two to nothing lead for the Hillers. In the second quarter, as Thomas Hassey gets things started off, Hillers will work right to left across your screen for this quarter. And we had a uh, brief rain shower. It's still kind of raining. It has slowed down a little bit, but it is going to make for a wet surface for sure. Looks like, uh, do we have an injury yeah, out here? Yeah, Donate's got clipped. It's an injury stoppage. At 16.20 left to go. And as Gustavo Gomez Donate, he's a little shaken up. He'll be helped off the field. Certainly hope he's okay. Seems to be walking off for the most part under his own power. Aired out into the box. Oh, Oga was all alone. Yeah, just couldn't knock it down. Very surprised they put the ball in play when Donate's still being helped off the field. He's finally <laughs> off the field now. I don't think they realized he wasn't fully off yet. <laughs> oh, it's raining. They want to get out of here. <laughs> off of Sheehan. They're saying, those poor H cam guys, we got we to continue right now. Along the near side, that's Olga. Sends it 
forward, working the end line is Ianelli, and out of play it goes. Box sent back out up the far side. And the boot by Goo gets by everybody over to Olga it goes. Oh that was a that was a lovely ball from Henkel. Olga cut back and Henkel thought he was going to continue his run to the corner. Out in front. Along the near side, out of play. Put in a play by Goo. Top of the box, Sainelli approaching. He just got shouldered off. That's going to be a COVID call right at the top of the box. So pretty much it'll be a penalty kick type of situation. Yeah, direct kick. Should be an indirect kick right outside the box, but you can play it like it's a direct kick. Slight. Looks like Carlos will just touch it. Yeah. Jackal, crank it. The touch, the kick, and it's a save. Nice save from the keeper. Taylor Tatro wrapping it up off of Ionelli. Over to Goo, back to Ionelli. Ionelli can find an opening, and now Henkel gonna draw a whistle. Nardone will send it down for Norton. Twelve and a half and counting left to go in this second quarter. Along the near side, that's Goo. Oh, Brian should have passed it back to the keeper there. That was just a sloppy turnover. Keeper was calling for the ball. He also had Batika unmarked for a square ball. Being in a play, that is Cam Bratt. Here comes Norton. Cut off his Sabati for the moment. Sent out by Goo. Over towards Boothroyd. Up to Srivastava. On the far side now. Goo sends it flying. Ianelli gets it over to Olga. Now back to Ianelli. Here he comes. Olga. Ianelli approaching the box. Nobody's coming for it. And it's sent out a playoff of Brat. Well, we lucked out the last couple of weeks with gorgeous weather, but we got some uh, rain today. Fortunately, it's not too cool. Little breeze, but not too bad. Sent flying by the goalkeeper Tatro. Oga. 
Taken by Sheehan. Back to Oga. Oga was trying to get it up to Ionelli there. Lancer is looking for a break here and smart move there by ProVenture. Had a play a little too much in the direction of Combe Sheehan. Simpson puts it into play. Pass over by Henkel. On the far side, that is Boothroyd. Lancer's trying to work the far sideline. In between the legs of Srivastava, it goes. And out of play, Hiller's ball. Full field <laughs> line <substitution>. change. <laughs> you got a full out line change here, all nine. Everybody's going to get some playing time today. I think they should do it like they do in hockey. You sub out while you're playing. Yeah. Keep the game moving. Towards the box. That'll force the keeper out. It was off of Hatherley. Just past Hatherley. Out in front. Wrapped up as Narowin was hoping someone would get there. And it's put out a playoff of Carolino. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple, happy to be with you. Emily Miller on camera for this JV matchup. The varsity team getting a nice 3-2 win earlier today. And if you missed it live, you'll be able to re-watch it right on our YouTube page. Immediately after our live broadcast is through. Hiller's trying to get back into the danger zone. There's a shot just wide off of Arthur. Yeah, it took a deflection as it went through the box and actually forced the keeper to hit the turf. Hillers will put it into play from the corner. Trying to approach his hat through late. He's diverted by Simpson. Put out a play along the near side. Norton ball. Pass by Lee Thomas. Working is Onkin. He'll send it back. Can sends it to the near side of Carolino. Back towards midfield goes Tatro. And that's actually Luke Ferreira in net, I believe, for Norton. Along the far side. Here's a strong boot, and it's wrapped up by Ferreira. Near side, Miller sends it towards Carolino. Tangled up along the near side and out of bounds. Simpson puts it into play. A little too much there on the pass by 
Barrow into Miller. Air it out and out. Miller's ball. Sent towards the box and back down. Nice boot by the defender, Cambrat. Miller's trying to work their way in. Sent back to Lee Thomas. Onkin. And it's wrapped up. Aired out towards the box. Misfire there, and that'll force the goalkeeper out. And off the body, Miller. I like the pressure the Hillers are putting on this Norton team. They're not really giving the Lancers a whole lot of opportunity in their own defensive end. And out of play. Lancers will sub a few. Matthew Cropley, Tyler Nardone, and Thomas ha Hasey into the game. Or Hasey, excuse me. Off a stud home and out. We approach three minutes left to go in this second quarter. At home, we'll put it into play. Lancer's trying Outside. to work on something. And Hiller's ball. Air it out. Here comes Hopkinton. And a smart move there by Bratt sending it out with a number of Hillers approaching. Back into the game for the Hillers is Gomez Donate. It's good to see him back out there. He was shooken up a little earlier. There's a boot oh. off the goaltender. Loose ball. He's able to wrap it up. Good shot from Thomas. Certainly was. Nice save from the keeper, too. Yeah, he had to get up there to knock that one down. We're at the two-minute mark. Closing minutes of this first half. Towards the end line and out. Norton ball. Lancers trying to work their way into Hiller's territory. They haven't been there much this quarter. So nice up. ball. Yeah, Boothroyd tracking it down. Trying to center it. There's a shot and it's wrapped up. That was Onkin on the shot. On the far sideline, kept in play by McCann. Onkin tracks it down. 
Akin is diverted. And is sent flying and wrapped up. Goes off of Jack Arthur. Arthur sends it up again. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping that goaltender busy. He's like, I'm not going to that side again. And that's going to do it for the second quarter of play. After two, it is the Hillers. Two, Norton, nothing. A good effort in that half by the Hillers, Steve. Yeah, a little sloppy compared to the first half. Um, they were a little ragtag there. And it, it could be because the, the turf is, is fairly wet right now, so it's a little tougher to maintain your footing. But uh, overall, I think the Hillers will be happy with their performance going into halftime. I think they certainly will, and we'll take a timeout. Second half coming up next. The Hillers to Norton nothing on HCAM. And welcome back to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the second half of play in this JV matchup. The Hopkinton Hillers leading the Norton Lancers 2-0. to nothing. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call. Emily Miller on camera. And the rain has stopped, fortunately. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, that's right. You know, you just I jinxed, just jinxed it. If it's it starts the pouring, it's, yeah, if it starts pouring, it's my fault. I take full responsibility. And I think we are going to be, we'll be able to uh, call the rest of the game without getting rained on. And now it's really jinxed. Uh, looking at the radar, oh, a lot of green stuff moving in. <laughs> <laughs> Starting things off for the Hillers, Jack Proventure. Sophomore for the Hillers. Seventeen minutes on the clock. Now, did they go fully to seventeen minutes? Wasn't it seventeen and a half to start the season or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it's seventeen. I think they said, you know what, we we got to make it an even seventeen here. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, we got nine on nine out there. Yeah, Norton's got a very small team. They only have. 12 players. Uh, Carlos just mishit that one. Uh, not enough space. Then you got to wait for the second whistle. Uh, nice step from Leonard. A lot of whistles in soccer nowadays. Studholm will put it into play. <laughs> False start. <laughs> He'll do it again. Why not another time? Back and forth we go along the near sideline. Slowly we're working the ball forward. Studholm is getting some good futsal experience. <laughs> along the near sideline. Nice step from Brian. Goose sends it forward. Bressler pass. Boot there by Nardone. Over to the corner goes Hassey. Lancer is looking for an opportunity here. Getting in front of it was Sheehan. And out of play goes Studholm. Otkin will put it in a play. Wrong boot there, off of Goo. Sent for by Sheehan. Sending it over was Bressler. 
Nice overlapping run from Patika. And Batika will set it up to be put into play. Nice move there by Ianelli. Sabati sends it over to the near side, out of play. I believe Michael Sabati also a basketball player for Norton, if I'm not mistaken. Studholm sends it in. Sent up by ProVenture. And it's wrapped up. Luke Ferreira will send it out. And goal. Getting there is Akin. Nice move there, Akin. There's Ianelli. There's a nice shot, shot and it's in. Nice strike. Jack Ianelli with the third goal of the afternoon for the Hillers. It's a 3 0 lead with 13 22 left in the third. Very nice finish from Jack. Credit, uh, Leonard Onkin with the assist. Wrestler. Handled by Onkin. Olga. Sends it towards Ionelli. Working along the far side. Trying to get in there is Batika. Lancer is able to skate by for the moment. Batika sends it to the keeper. Yeah, it's Tyler Goldner in net, Emily informed us. That is uh, good to know. <laughs> On the far side. That's why we pay Emily the big bucks. Henkel trying to work his way forward. Yeah, I'd like to see Hopkinton switch the field quickly here. I mean, Onkin's over here with both hands in the air saying, look at me, look at me. Yeah, he looks wide open along the near side. There you go. Akin approaching, past the goalkeeper, wide open net, with ease, 4 nothing. <laughs> Leonard Onkin. And you can credit Batika with the assist. Yep, it's a lovely ball, switching the field. A little bit of a defensive miscue helped. <clears throat> but that doesn't show up in the scorecard. Hillers having their way with Norton so far in this JV matchup. Has to reach a Sheehan. Goo. Nice pass by Ionelli. Now up towards Ionelli. Can he get to it? On the far side, out of play off of Cropley. Sent forward, opportunity here. There's a Another shot. One. Oh, Leonard Otkin. Great cross. I think it was Ionelli. I think ProVenture might have got a piece too. Goal comes with 10-15 left. 5 nothing, Hopkinton. The goals keep on coming for the Hillers. Well, I don't think you can ask for a better opportunity than that. No. No, I mean, the boys have come out from halftime with uh, 
with a little bit more vigor than they ended the second period. They're flying out there. They're showing off the wheels for sure. And will that stay in play? No. Nine and a half left to go with this third. Already three more goals by the Hillers in the quarter. Five nothing lead. Along the sideline. Catching up with it as can. Nice ball from Thomas. Here goes Arthur, sends it up towards Boothroy too a little much. too much. Yeah. Sending it in, stud home. From midfield by McCann. Norton trying to approach. Smart move there by Gomez Donate. Along the near side. And sent out. Off of Lee Thomas. Looks like the sun might trying to be uh, to peek out. Oh, you're being optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a glass half full kind of guy. What can I say? Set up by Arthur. Nice move there by Noroy, Norin, Norowin. And he'll put that off of Cropley and out. We'll put it in from the corner. Lee Thomas. Well, they need they need to get the ball to the Jack Arthur right back here. There's there they, we go. They listen to you. Airs it out. And the goaltender got a hand on it. Able to swat it out. Lancers trying to approach along the near side. That's Winnie. Oh, that wasn't out. Yeah, that was in. Hiller's got a break. Boothroyd sends it up the sideline. Quickly approaching. Naroian. Naroian with the shot. It's swatted down. Nice hustle trying to get back in there. Almost did. Here comes Boothroyd. With a heavy first touch. Got away from Luke. Jack Arthur would like to have that one back. At home. Arthur. On the far side. Tracking it down was Srivastava. Out of bounds. That's a name that'll take some getting used to. Srivastava. Lancer is trying to approach. Trip up there. And it was Lee Thomas getting tangled up with Tatro. Five 
five nothing lead for the Hillers for 30 and counting left to go in the third quarter. Cropley airs it out, and it's wrapped up just in time with a quick approaching Quinn Bressler. Nice play from Luke. Here comes Boothroyd. Good head of speed. Night. Oh, just a little too far. Yep. It was good recovery. Good recovery from Cropley there. Boothroyd showing off the wheels. Both teams subbing out a couple. Hatherly and Carolino back into the game for the Hillers. Played off the body of Gomez Donate. Down in front. Towards the end line now. Gustavo sends it back. There's a shot and it's wrapped up off the foot of Charles Miller. On the near side, that's Gomez Donate. Move there by Boothroyd. Trying to set up Boothroyd. A row in. Yeah. Luke is off sides. Brad sends it down. Put out a play. I believe that was off of Sabati. I'm going to call it out on the Hillers. Yeah, it was a COVID foul. Ah, that's right. There was some contact. Easy to forget about that rule. Sometimes. It really is. <laughs> nice send up there by Gomez Donate. Good send out out in front, and he just missed his target, Srivastava. Nice save from Miller. Keeps the ball in play. Out in front. Looking to get in there. Sends it back. Srivastava Shri was surrounded by Lancers. Hiller's hanging on to control, however. Nice work there. There's a shot, and it's wide. Good job there by Luke Boothroyd, keeping possession of it. We're at the two-minute mark of the third quarter. And a play. Hiller's ball. And that'll hop out. I'll send Mr. Cormier for a nice walk. Cam Bratt will put it into play. The body of Gomez Donate. Can the Lancers get something going? Here comes Nardone. And that is off of Sabati. Or was it? Uh, I think it was off of Luke. Ah. Oh, that's a quarter. Wow. Well, there you go. That's the end of three. After three quarters of play, it's the Hillers 5, Norton nothing. The final 17 minutes coming up next on HCAM.
Joe's got all wet. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> Save the equipment and my Cheetos. <laughs> Put the jacket over the Cheetos. Forget the equipment. <laughs> We are ready for the final 17 minutes of regulation between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norton Lancers. A 5-0 lead for the Hillers. You're tuned into JV Boys Soccer on HCAM. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call, Emily Miller on camera. And we have another double dose of soccer tomorrow afternoon for you. Starting at noon, we'll have Hillers Girls JV. Followed by the Hillers Varsity game at 2. Also, Senior Day for the Varsity team. And we should have two good games against the Norton Lancers starting tomorrow at noon. The Hillers trying to work their way into Norton territory, working right to left across your screen for the quarter. Oga. Sends nice ball over. to Onken. Onken hoping for the hat trick, and he just sends it over. Uh, Hiller's picking up right where they left off in the third. Coming out and just uh, going full speed. Yeah, they certainly are showing off the wheels in this one. I was wondering why they were going for a corner kick. Onken just shanked that. Yeah. Goal kick. They were uh, trying to pull a quick one, I think. Sent down by Brat. Sheehan. Here comes Norton. Nardone misses his target. Olga handles it. On the near side, approaching is Carolino. And a play goes. Hillers will send it in. Call him Sheehan. Now they're going to have Carolino put it in play. Oga airs it out into the box. Trying to turn it around is Lee Thomas. Back and forth we go along the box. Taking it out of Studholm. And a play. Nate Lee Thomas put it in. Top of the box. Studholm trying to take it out. Oh, Anken almost turned it around, and the Hillers will have the futsal once again. We 
Lee Thomas, Sheehan. Approaching now Carolino, Sheehan. Sent back by Bratt. Goo along the near side. Carolino. Popped out of bounds off of Nardone. Carolino airs it out. Lock in. Too heavy. Yep. A little too much. Good switch to the field, though. The diagonal balls are there. There's so much space here, and the Hillers are doing a good job of switching the field quickly. I think the Hillers could get used to this nine on nine thing. Sent up by Bratt. Over goes Goo. There's Proventure. What do we have here, offsides? No, COVID. Or COVID. Right outside the box. Dangerous, because you can't set up a wall. It's an indirect kick, but you can play it like it's a direct kick. Penalty kick, almost. So it'll be Lee Thomas sending it back to Carolino. Thank you, Matt Crawley. Jackson. Jackson. Carolino will air it out towards the net, most likely. Just wide. Good idea. Well, he nailed the field goal net, or the uh, field hockey net. Aired out by Bratt. Hillers will put it in from the far side. Arthur sends it forward. Here's Carolino. Aired out by Studholm. Goo plays it backfield. Getting in there, Sabati. The Lancers ball. Eleven twenty and counting left to go in this game. A five nothing Hillers lead. Cropley sends it up. Eleven indirect kick for the Hillers. Carolino airs it out. Can anyone get there? And the goalkeeper comes way out to cut off Lee Thomas. He paid off that time. Carolino sends it back to the keeper. Tyler Goldner. Aired up the far side by Ankin. And we get a offsides. Offsides. It'll be Lancer's ball as we approach ten minutes left to go. Rat sends it up to Nardone. Out in front, Lee Thomas approaching. Takes a shot and nice it shot. is in. Nate Lee Thomas gets into the score books and adds goal number six for the Hillers. Comes with 940 left to go. Nice near post shot. Thomas was very patient on the buildup. Your goals today for the Hillers, you had Carlos Henkel, assisted by Ankin, you had Luke Boothroyd, 
Jack Ionelli assisted by Ogden. Leonard assisted by Ogden. And also uh, Katika. Ogden also had another one after that to make it 5 to nothing in the third. Now Nate Lee Thomas. Don't forget, every Wednesday at 3 p.m., you can catch HCAM Sports Talk Live, airing on HCAM TV, as well as on our YouTube and Facebook page. We'll get you up to date with the latest in local high school, college, and professional sports. And this coming week, we'll be joined by Hiller's Boys Varsity head coach, Garrett Sawyer, to talk about this year's team and much more. That's HCAM Sports Talk Live every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Hosted by yours truly. Into the box it goes, and it's sent out of play by Batika. Eight minutes and counting left to go. Norton will Put it into play from the corner. First time in a while the Lancers have put some pressure on the Hillers. We'll do it again. Is that a whistle violation? No, um, no. Hopkinton entered the 10 yard radius before the ball was kicked. There's a boot. And back out it go. No, kept in. Nice job by the goalkeeper, Tyler Goldner. Trying to turn it around is Hatherley. Uh, Hatherley had Onkin all alone across the field. Proventure sends it out. Onkin. There's a boot. And wide there is Leonard Onkin. Hillers will sub a few. Charles Miller, Divyansh Srivastava back into the game, as well as Luke Boothroyd. There's a boot there by Shreva Stava, a little, a little wide. Along the far side, Tika. Hiller's trying to work it back up to field. Oof! Some big contact there. And it tripped up now is Gomez Donare. Tika going to air it out. Nice boot. Nice move there by Miller. Henkel passes it over. Sent up to Hatterley. And towards the end line it goes. Kept in a play for the moment. There's a boot off the goalkeeper's hands, and he wraps it up. That was a strong shot there by Srivastava. Nice move by Henkel. On the near side, out of play. Lancers ball. Cam Bratt will put it in. Bratt getting a piece of it, sent up by Bressler. Smart move there by Batika. Near 
near side, that is Gomez Donati. Sends it out. Four minutes and counting left to go. And it tripped up was Nardone. Chipped it out of bounds. Hiller's ball. Well, a nice dominant effort today by this Hiller's JV team, Steve. Yep. Yep, they've uh, they really stepped it up. Came out of the gate fast. Second period was a little sloppy, but third and fourth they've gone back to playing Hiller soccer. Boothroyd. Nice footwork there. Tries to center it up. Here comes Cropley. Up the near side. Gomez Donati tracks it down. Proventure. Or excuse me, that was Batika. Yeah, he took too many dribbles. He had McCann wide open in the middle of the field. He could have taken one touch and just drifted it right into the middle. Yeah, I think the boys just see so much open space here that they feel that they should just take it, which is true most of the time, but when you've got a man wide open in the middle of the field, put it to his feet. Right. Yeah, they've certainly had their fair share of uh, open opportunities today. Out in front. Nice job there by Gomez Donate. He's diverted by Bressler. Little push. I'll draw the whistle. Yeah, I thought that whistle will go the other way there. We're at the two minute mark of what will be a nice Hiller's win. They lead six to nothing. Yep, you like to see him keep the clean sheet. Sends it back to Gomez Donate. And Abatica. And is up to Naroian. On the far side, Srivasta Stava into the box. Goaltender took a big risk there and a little collision with Naroian. This goalkeeper for Norton comes way out sometimes. And a couple times it really hurt him. Gomez Donati on the near side of Boothroyd. Tika sends it over. Vistava trying to take it up. Out of play. Charles Miller will have the foots all here. Aired out to the box. And a tap by the goaltender, and it'll wrap it up. Hatherley take a shot, nearly take a got shot. there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's tripped up. Slowed in front. Keeper was so far out. McCann just couldn't wrap his foot around the ball. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to come away with the 6 to nothing win over the Norton Lancers. Steve, a dominant performance out there. It was. Right from the opening whistle, Tom, the, the Hillers dominated run of play both from a possession standpoint and obviously with a final score uh, but a, a very a very solid performance for the Hillers. Well, that is going to wrap up our coverage for today as the Hopkinton Hillers JV team takes down Norton 6 to nothing. Just a reminder tomorrow starting at noon we'll have the girls JV soccer game followed by the varsity game at 2 against the Norton Lancers. 
So we will talk to you on Sunday for some girls soccer action. For Emily Miller on camera, my broadcast partner, Steve Sweetapple. I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching this presentation of HCAM Sports. The final score for the final time. The Hopkinton Hillers take down the Norton Lancers by a final of six to nothing. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.